so that's the short term prognosis. We have so many different investors, technical analysts and others who say, OK, summer, summer might be fine. Um, and I see we have dogs another the guest death. that's joining us. Dogs of the day. We appreciate that. Uh, th- this is the dog days of summer. People yeah, talk about sure. it that way. We were I'm talking about sorry, this. Being a, I'm sorry. I it's, don't be sorry. We, you know, we love this. It just adds to the sort of, you know, this is a live show. That's <laughs> that's what we enjoy. But but help us with this. Where are we now versus where are we in the fall? Because I don't know if it's the conventional wisdom or the prevailing wisdom. But uh, the dogs seem to think that the dog days uh, are going to get a little more exciting, but maybe not in a good way come September. Mm, did you guys catch that? That's Karen Firestone. Um, she is of Arius Asset Management. She was on CNBC talking about probably asset management, investing options, very important and, and uh, interesting things for folks who watch CNBC. But did you catch the problem? First off, we heard the dog barking in the front, which of course destroys every interview when you're trying to do something at home. But on the back end there, there was a, a, a an unidentified gentleman. Let's watch that again a little bit closer in case you guys missed what happened on the back end of this interview. Horrific. <laughs> I don't know if it's the conventional wisdom or the prevailing wisdom, but uh, the dogs seem to think that the dog days uh, are gonna get a little more exciting, but maybe not in a good way. So the dog needed to be pulled aside, Jackson. Uh, my man walked through with a pair of BVDs or Hanes or Fruit of the Looms or something like that. He was that. comfortable. He was very <laughs> comfortable. And I mean, you know, it, it, you know, it's not like this was like something that was horrible, but this is a reality now, the world that we live in. And I guess we got to take some precautions. Like, hey, honey, I'm gonna be on a TV, so you know, <laughs> maybe put some pants or go go around the corridor the other direction or something like that. But uh, you know, stuff happens. But this she's the CEO of Arias. Asset management. There must be a different <laughs> way through that room. That's it not has just. To be. It, she it probably has be a, a one compartment bedroom. that goes like straight through the floor to the kitchen. He may he needed to drink a water or some pickles. But you know, I think he was trying to help take care of the dog because she kept yeah. motioning to side like, "Get the dog, get the dog." And he's okay. like, "Oh, the German Shepherd just ran through." Sorry, he's trying dude. to be chivalrous. That's all it was. <laughs> he's working on it. But you yeah. know, it did remind me of other great moments when it comes to interviews. And also Zoom calls and things when you actually mess things up. We saw these explode, obviously, when everyone was on Zoom calls and Skypes and everything after the pandemic hit. This one I did miss. Let's go some throwbacks because um, this was fun too. Watch this. Buonasera. Ci ritroviamo insieme per pregare. Io in chiesa e voi a casa. Oggi è venerdì di Quaresima e vogliamo pregare con la Via Crucis e la benedizione eucaristica, chiedendo al Signore che ci aiuti a seguirlo sulla via che lui stesso ha percorso, la via della croce. Vogliamo affidare al Signore tutte le nostre sofferenze, le nostre difficoltà, i momenti difficili che stiamo vivendo in modo particolare in questo momento. That one I somehow missed. That was an Italian priest, uh, of course, maybe a couple years ago. His name is Paolo Longo, and he's of the church of, the, of San Pietro and San Benedito de Poia. I messed all of that up. Uh, that's in Italy, and he put up his Facebook uh, account. He was doing a very solemn prayer there, and um, apparently the filters were on, and he looked like, I guess, a gangster there and a cat. And a spaceman. Uh, it was uh, great stuff. I, I love it. But he also then, of course, had a sense of humor at the end of it and said, "Sometimes <laughs> we just need. <laughs> Sometimes we just need to laugh." And apparently, his mistake made everyone laugh. But Jackson, my favorite of all time, uh, is what's his name? Let's make sure you get his name. Professor Robert Kelly. He was on the BBC and he was talking about, uh, I think, South Korea and politics there. Um, except there was a few intruders. My favorite of all time. Let's watch. Prime, the question is how do democracies respond to those scandals? Uh, and what will it mean for uh, for the wider region? I think one of your children has just walked in. I mean, shift, shifting, shifting sands in the region, do you think relations with the North may change? Um, I would be surprised if they do. <laughs> the, um, pardon me. That's pardon right, me. Um, My apologies. <laughs> What was this going to be for the region? My apologies. North, uh, sorry. Um, North Korea, North, uh, South Korea's policy choices on North Korea have been severely limited. 
And he just moved right on through. <laughs> Robert Kelly isn't, he's a professional, Jackson. He's a professional. Children run in the room, you just shove him in the chest without yeah. looking at the stiff arm. You hit him with the Heisman. And then, of course, the woman jumps in and snatches like as if we couldn't see her. Right, no, the kid, my favorite thing, the kid like walked in like this. She was like proud. She was about to like, she was about to put on the show. <laughs> this is my house. <laughs> right, exactly. And, and it is. I mean, how can you be mad? And then she came in and she was diving. But no, I mean, again, this is, I think it, I mean, it's funny, you know what I mean? Like it's uh, when stuff like this happens, you know, if it happens like continuously, but if it's an honest mistake, then, you know, how can you get mad at something like Let's that? Let's keep it real. I mean, everyone's got, I mean, this guy's got children, he's on TV. I think people understand it, but they flowed right through. But there's there's this fear, it's this crazy, it's like, oh my God, something's going wrong. It's okay, bro, you're a human. In yeah. fact, it might actually make us like you more. Um, I like to start with a little bit of fun. What's going on, Jax? What's that thought? Oh no, I was just saying absolutely. You know what I'm saying? It definitely shows a human side. Like, oh, this guy's just got his kids running around causing chaos in the house like all the rest of us. You know what I mean? So yeah. the woman who jumped in should not have been so panicked. Just oh, no. <laughs>